your own players of WoW, Taro here bringing you a vid on how to win at Hollow's End. For more free guides, subscribe and visit my website at tarowowguides.com. This year's Hollow's End began Tuesday, October 18th and ends Monday, October 31st. It's one of my favorite holidays and worth doing whether you're looking to finish your what a long strange trip it's been meta achievement, if you're wanting to snag that awesome headless horseman mount, a new title, or if you're just bored looking for something fun to do. To get started, look at which achievements you haven't done and try to focus on them first. First up, I just do some easy trick or treating. This is mainly for the tricks and treats of Azeroth achievement which you can complete by going to all the towns listed and trick or treating by clicking on the pumpkins typically inside the inns. It'll also help you to complete several other achievements so I suggest doing it first. With tricks and treats you don't need to do Northrend or Cataclysm inns to complete the meta achievement for the title but they're worth doing for gathering tricky treats to purchase items to complete other achievements or buy fun items like pets as well as getting gold and guild rep. Once you complete all the tricks and treats you'll have tons of items to complete the rest of the achievements and even have a very good chance of getting the sinister squashling pet. Hell I got 6 of them and I only did Northrend and Cataclysm inns mostly. I can't even imagine if you did all the ends possible. Needless to say, don't bother buying it from the vendor. Next up, I complete the quest available just outside of Undercity or Stormwind for Alliance. You can do the dailies there first if you like and then work on the main quests. They're extremely easy and don't take long at all to do. I also found a little trick while doing stink bombs away. Since you also need to douse the wickermen outside of Stormwind, just log out after you finish it, log back in, and you'll be at a close by graveyard alive. Then just fly over, douse the wickermen, and hearth back to Org. Then you can do your mint quest for orcs and trolls inside Org and fly over to Thunder Bluff or get a port to get that one as well. Next, take the Zep back to Undercity or get a port, head inside, do clean up in Undercity and grab the mint there. Finally, go outside and turn everything in. Bam, done. The next thing I'm going to do is the savior of Hallow's End. It's super easy to do and shouldn't take you but a few minutes to complete. Towards the end of Hallow's End, players start to thin out and it can be more difficult to complete especially if you're on a low pop server. To avoid that, try completing this quest early on. Also do it outside your major hub like at Razor Hill just south of Orc. After that, queue up for the Headless Horseman and have your luck at the Headless Horseman's reins. You'll have a chance at it every day so good luck. It'll also let you complete the achievement, bring me the head of oh wait and help with sinister calling. Check your head among others. Okay so after you get all your tricks and treats done along with all the quests you can start on knocking out the easy achievements like the masquerade. Just ask and trade to trade hallowed bond casts. Remember you have to be in a party for it to work. If you try doing this towards the end you might have to tip to get the wand transformations you need so doing it early on pays off. Between waiting on wand cast trades, queue for a BG like Alteric Valley, Tolbarad if it's about to start, or Isle of Conquest. Pop a nerd candy and kill 10 players. It used to be 50 which was semi difficult but now it's only 10 players so you should have no trouble being able to do it without dying. If you do die, you'll have to eat another candy, no big deal. This is also a good time to complete Check Your Head. If you're somehow short on the jack-o'-lanterns used to complete it, you can get them from friends or the auction house but don't expect them to be cheap early on. Once all those are done, use your leftover candy to complete Out With It. Just eat candy until you get sick. Kinda like what you would have done when you were 10 years old or if you're 10 but you're planning on doing this Halloween. This is also a good time to use a toothpick and get the That Sparkling Smile achievement. Sinister Calling and the Mass Task should have been completed while you did the tricks and treats. If for some reason you had insanely bad luck with getting the Sinister Squashling and Hallowed Helm, don't sweat it. Just do the Headless Horseman every day and the dailies and you'll either get it as a drop or have enough tricky treats to buy them. I wouldn't buy them though until the last day of the holiday since it is a waste unless you have all the items you want and masks already. Trick or Treat is another one you would have already completed so we'll skip that one and lastly you might have a mask for all occasions left to do. 
This one isn't part of the meta achievement, so you don't need to do it, but if you really want it, I suggest waiting until the last day of the holiday when you've done all your trick-or-treating and quests, and then use your leftover tricky treats to buy the masks you need. Make sure you buy whatever you want from the vendor before this though, since I myself would rather have the feline familiar than complete this achievement. So that's pretty much it, and you should now have a few pets, some fun items, and a shiny new title, The Hollowed, from completing all the achievements and doing the quests. I have videos of the new pets and how to do the quest line for the Creepy Crate pet on my YouTube channel, so check those out. Grats to all, and enjoy Halloween in and out of the game. That's it for my How to Win at Hollow's End Video Holiday Achievement Guide, and I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and visit tarawildguides.com for more free wild guides and news. Thanks for watching. Now go leave a comment telling me about your success.